Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad Today is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Coming up, Leo's back. Yeah, I love her. I really missed Plus, we got an iPad announcement. Mm -hmm. It's almost official. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make Sarah Lane look beautiful. Really? Yes. That sounds hard. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. All that and a rock pack. What does that mean? I don't the know. answer may surprise you on Next. iPad today. iPad Today is brought to you by Shutterstock.com. With over 28 million high-quality stock photos, illustrations, vectors, and video clips, Shutterstock helps you take your creative projects to the next level. For 25% off your new account, go to Shutterstock.com and use the offer code iPADtoday1013. And by Gazelle, the fast and simple way to sell your used gadgets. Find out what your used iPhone, iPad, or other Apple product is worth at Gazelle.com. And by 99designs, the world's largest graphic design marketplace. 99designs connects businesses seeking quality, affordable designs with a community of more than 225,000 graphic designers. Visit 99designs.com slash iPad today to receive a free power pack upgrade valued at $99. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. hey, hey. You're so excited. Albert. You're screaming. I know. What's going on, man? Dude, you've been gone for three weeks. You know what I learned? Three weeks. Istanbul is not Constantinople. Well, it was once. <sighs> but why do they give it the works? What do you mean? That's nobody's business but the Turks. Oh, okay. We're doing that? No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, you know what's weird is on Facebook last night, just I don't know why, I yeah, was bored. Yeah. I decided to uh, like re-upload my, my, like change my profile picture and yeah. I chose a picture from Turkey. How did you like Turkey? Well, I was there a long time ago, but I loved yeah. it. Yeah, I was Istanbul there for about is a amazing. Month. Really? Did fun. you go to Cap Cappadocia? I did that? I wish I'd seen. We didn't have enough yeah. time to go. That's where they have the like big mounds and they balloons and yeah, yeah. We went great. up in a hot air balloon yeah, and, and yeah. yeah, it's kind of what you do there. Right. But it's really it's like no place on earth. Super fun. How was your trip? It was great. Yes. It was really great. You had a wonderful I, I, time. I think you might notice I have a little tan. You look healthy, well rested. I'm very relaxed. It was a great time. But I I'm glad to be back. I didn't hear from you once. Was I supposed to write you? No, but I'm <laughs> I'm saying it seems like no, you No, you did it. I I, I I said something you unpassed. Well, okay. But that's it, hearing from me. In general, I felt like you disconnected, which was sort of the point. I did. You know, time I to did. decompress. I totally disconnected. I didn't think about work. I just had a great time and it was a lot it was it I you and I are both uh, travel fans. Yes. We love to travel. Absolutely. And uh, so uh, that's kind of the thing I do when I take time off is I go places and I got five countries four of which I'd never been to before I went to Italy Croatia Montenegro have you ever been there have not Kotor it's gorgeous quite a small little place it's well it's both it was both Croatia and, and, and Montenegro are part of the former Yugoslavia mm -hmm. and uh, small nations that were kind of spun out when Yugoslavia uh, was broken apart, but it's a beautiful place. And then from there, uh, Greece, we spent a lot of time hopping the islands, including your favorite place, which I yeah. agree I loved on Santorini. Mm -hmm. um, Santorini's interesting because it's an island that in, uh, I think it was 1500 BC, was a massive volcanic explosion. Yeah. They found ashes from that explosion everywhere from uh, Iceland all the way down to Antarctica. I mean, it just, it was huge. And it blew, uh, the uh, top of the volcano basically blew itself off and it became the bay. The caldera. Yeah, they, they call it the caldera of the island. Uh, the Greeks call it Thera, it's Santorini, it's more mm -hmm. commonly known mm -hmm. as. But basically, uh, the island is steep cliffs. It was the walls of the volcano. There's, you can't, there's no beach there. You can't be there. So they've built into the cliffs, as you know. I'm, te I'm telling. Well, people yeah, who no, been there. this is it's good it's, stuff. It's because it's volcanic pumice. It was easy for them to, you know, kind of scrape it out, and it's these towns are perched. Ia is included, 
In fact, he is the most beautiful example uh, perched on these cliffs, and it's gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful. Gorgeous. Yeah, definitely and, one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. Oh, and you stayed there, didn't you? I did, for about a week. Oh, I would have loved to. We were only there a day, but I, I would have loved to. It's fun. But one thing, I, I thought of you a lot. In fact, I posted some pictures for you, because there's cats everywhere. Cats everywhere. Now, they're not kitty cats. They're not, they're not, they're wild cats. They are, but they're pretty used to humans. I yeah, found that a lot of them were... They're not going to attack you or anything. No, but, you know, it's like you can't, like, pick them up and take them home, but mm -hmm. they're And you're probably not... Hanging. It's probably not a good idea to kind of, oh, kitty, kitty, pity, pity. The, I saw that happen a few times. The cat would... You have to pay attention because they are not completely tame. But I guess they, uh, they, they don't mind that they're there. When we went to Ephesus, which is a beautiful, wow, an amazing archaeological dig in Turkey... Um, there, they, we went, they had a night concert there for us. And as we were going in, I saw all the cats be, I sent a picture of all the cats being carted off in, uh, in cases. I said, what are you doing with them? Because they live there during, and they said, we take them and we sterilize them so that they don't breed. Right. Um, and then we put them back because they, they keep, I guess they keep the pests down and so mm -hmm. forth. And the tourists love them. It's kind of neat. They're everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Not also so quite, much dogs, also but quite, mostly cats. But, but there are, I, I noticed quite a few a dogs. Few, you yeah. know, not yeah. necessarily wild dogs, but they're sort of, I mean, where are they going to go? Right. What are you and they do? just sort of roam around and play like what dogs do? and stuff like that. Well, I, for one, am happy that you're back. I, I am. I'll tell you one other thing I observed. What? I was surprisingly large number of people with iPads using them as their primary camera. Because they've got the iPad anyway, yeah. so why bring anything else? Well, they're going on, I mean, we get in a bus and we take a trip to, the, to Troy or Ephesus or Messini. And they pull out their, and it's big. They're pulling out their iPads and they're taking pictures like this. Mm -hmm. It was the strangest thing I ever saw. My mom saw. said the same thing on her last trip to Israel a few months ago. She's like, everybody's doing it. They yep. look ridiculous, but that's what they're doing. I predicted it. I said, you know, when uh, we were talking about the iPad when it first came out, why did they put a camera on it? I guess it was the iPad too. And I said, you watch. It looks silly now, but you're going to see everybody using it uh, as, a, as a photographer. Because you get a big screen. Did you ever use your iPad as a camera? A little bit, but mostly I brought, I brought my Olympus camera with me. and I took You, were, you were taking it a little bit And a bit lot of serious. camera phone pictures. I wish I'd had the iPhone 5S. Which you weren't able to get until you got back because we you were already gone. Yeah. yeah, but this has a nice camera. Oh, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, I've been I, loving it. So... We're going to see new iPads. We are. So October 22nd, the uh, the journalists have gotten their invite. They have? Yes. Yes. Oh, they must have gone out today because uh, I know it I know it was John Petchkowski in uh, All Things D. Oh, actually. I don't actually, think invites have gone out yet. Actually, you're right, Leo. They go out on Tuesday the week that's, before. That's not an official invite. Right. This is just, yeah, This these are, these are the words that we're hearing. In fact, it's not official news, but John almost always gets it right. He's yeah. got good sources. He does. So... So now the question is, well, what happens? We've heard all sorts of things uh, from, from uh, Retina iPad Mini, faster iPad 5. 5, fifth generation. Fifth generation to uh, the iPad Minis having a really, really constrained supply with manufacturers uh, in Asia, which would lead uh, analysts to believe that there's no way we're going to have enough iPad minis to go around, especially for the holiday season. That would be a bummer. It would be a huge bummer. And yeah. I also feel like I find it hard to believe that Apple hasn't figured that out yet because they know how big of a well, deal the Retina iPad mini would here's be for why. a lot of people. I think it's that Retina display. I bet you there's components in there that are in short supply. It isn't that they didn't have enough time to make them or they didn't make enough, but that they, 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 the constraint wasn't their fault. It's the supplier's probably didn't have, uh, you know, the retina little, what is it, 7.9 inch retina displays or whatever. Yeah. Um, I, for one, hope they do a retina mini. As you know, I love the mini. And my only complaint about the mini is that it's not retina. And boy, I would love to see a retina mini. Me too. And that's, by the way, that's the tablet I took with me on the trip. It's the only, I took my uh, Moto X Android phone. Didn't have the iPhone 5S yet. And I took my iPad mini. Now, okay, let's talk about the fact that you decided to go with mini. Uh, it's obviously more portable. It's smaller. Yeah. It's easier to, I don't know, yeah. hold for long periods of it time. It looks fine to me. I don't really need it for, I don't need the bigger screen. So what did you feel like you used it for the most since you were pretty much on the go? You guys didn't stay in one place too long. Plants versus zombies. That's not true. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. So it was just like a time waster when you needed to have like just a little bit of like... <laughs> You got a twelve-hour flight. You got to have something to do. So well, sure. On no, a flight. I, I played game mostly Plants vs Zombies, and then I would uh, check mail. I used mm -hmm. the Gmail app, 
for me, because I'm a Gmail user and this new Gmail categorization among, you know, they how they have priority and then promotions yeah. and social and updates, that works really well for me because if I see something in priority, it usually means it's real mail. Yeah. So, and, and when you're traveling, you know, some places have good bandwidth. The, we were on a cruise. The cruise has terrible bandwidth. So it was critical that I was able to quickly parse the mail. So I used the Gmail app on the iPad. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess I would check news occasionally. It was hard to get news. And you didn't bring a laptop. I did. Oh, you did. Oh no, I I, I didn't mean to imply that I didn't. I brought my. Uh, oh, okay. My, I thought uh, you were air. cruising along with the. But the only thing I brought the laptop for is pictures. Okay. So Lisa got me in a good habit. She would do this every night. She would copy her pictures to the laptop, mm -hmm. go through them, and post them. Yeah. Boom, 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 every get, night yeah. to keep up. I I tried. I was only able to do it for a while, but. That's a good. Uh, it's a, it's that's a good strategy it's a good because. Discipline. You say to yourself, well, I don't want to take up precious hours of my trip doing this when we're on the trip. But once you get home, after a couple of days. Last thing you want to do. Never going to post those never pictures post anywhere. That's right. That just becomes, I mean, I've got like pictures from Japan that are right. still sitting on a camera that I haven't right. ever done anything with. So it was a, she did this, she, she was a good discipline. And she would, she would say, boom, 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 I, you know, these are the 10 pictures or whatever. It wasn't a lot from each day. And she would post them on uh, Google Plus mm -hmm. and Facebook if you want to see pictures. Lisa Kenzel, K E N T Z E L L on Google Plus. That's the best pictures. Um, I posted for about five or six days. I was able to keep up, but I took sixteen hundred pictures. And wow. Now I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. You're right. It's they're just going to sit on my hard it's drive. It's tough. You know, some people in chat are saying, "Why does it look like Leo has toilet paper next well, to him?" Well, I was going to save that for later. It's hard though because. <laughs> well, occasionally. <laughs> when you see. You need to blow your nose. When you see our two shot. Yeah, then uh, I think people are wondering. Um, it's my new what's iPad stand. How do you like that? I like it a lot. In fact, um, we uh, we we we've we've had a couple weeks to get used to it while you've been gone. It's just sort of been sitting over in the corner. But I have to say, uh, toilet paper or not, it's a lovely stand. It works well it for our purposes. It acknowledges the fact that many don't. It's the dirty little secret of the iPad, which is it's meant for the bathroom. And uh, this just basically acknowledges what we all know to be true. You go, you know, and I think if you were a nice host, you wouldn't just have the stand there. You'd In your guest bathroom, you'd actually have an iPad. Sure. Just sitting right there. It's meant for the bathroom. It's me it's, this is the iPad stand for the bathroom. We got it at B&H Photo. It was 40 bucks. Um, I don't know. I, th I think it's a good idea. You know, I actually uh, have, Everything you have need is been right over here. to an apartment recently where this unnamed person had a dedicated iPad for the yeah. bathroom. I think it'd be a good idea to have True maybe story. antiseptic wipes right here. Yeah, yeah. Very cleanly. But this is, you know, I mean, what the hell? Well, I mean, it's like anything else you touch regularly in your bathroom. Got to keep it clean. Steve Jobs, it's funny because I've heard two different quotes about this. And on the one hand... Uh, for a long time, we'd heard the quote, Steve Jobs didn't make a tablet because he said, I'm not going to make a computer just for the bathroom. Hmm. But then then there was a wonderful article, I hope you read it last Sunday, on the uh, early iPhone, the original iPhone. Yeah. Uh, it's part of a book that's going to come out by a Wired editor that's the story of um, Apple versus Google in the phone war. But uh, the uh, original iPhone engineer quoted Steve Jobs as saying that he wanted the iPhone for the bathroom. So maybe, I don't know, maybe there's just two different stories. Why do people have to be in the bathroom for so long? Like, why is this a conversation that we're even having? I mean, aren't you kind of in and out? Why do you linger? Why do you, why do you need a novel? Why do you need Shogun in there? <laughs> Shogun, probably not. Well... But short stories. But this is like a thing. Limericks. This is a thing. <laughs> Mad Libs. Do you even Just need a little that something, much time? Something to pass the time. Just, you know, hey, get her done. Hey, I was in the, bath, the hotel we stayed at in the Turkey had a TV in the bathroom. You still, it's not like it's super comfortable. Like, you're not like, I love it in here. Let's just stay for a while and read more. I don't know. I know. This is, it's a mystery to me. People are weird. Hey, so you haven't, uh, have you updated to iOS 7 on your iPad? I have updated to iOS 7 on everything I've everything. got. Everything. Now, we've talked about iOS 7 on the iPhone because you had a beta version running before it actually was released to the public. But how do you feel about it on your iPad? You know, I have to say, one of the things, remember I was complaining about iOS 7 because of the swoop? The swooshing. You said you felt that, a little sick. Yeah, and it's not as bad on the uh, new iPhone, which is so much faster it does not bother me as much. And so I think it's smoother. It's either smoother or faster. Mm -hmm. There's something about it that is not as annoying, or maybe I'm just getting used to it. Now, on an older iPad, of course, uh, you still have the swooping. Um, and if I found it, it's a little laggy it, it, in I, places. Yeah, especially the Retina iPad. Uh, so, it, so watch, I'll launch something. 
you see how that swoops in and then I'll and then I'll swoop back to the home page and it has to reassemble. I just uh, those are the kinds of effects that I turn off, frankly. I I don't see the reason. You can turn them off though. Well, you can only kind of turn it down. You can I don't turn, see the you can reason turn for off it. parallax, but that yeah. doesn't really do anything. So, in fact, when I mentioned this, a lot of people emailed me and said, "Oh, just go into accessibility and uh, you'll see there is um, <clears throat> somewhere in here. Uh, it, I don't see it. It's, it's, no, I know. We did the reduce we've, motion. We've there this. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reduce motion. But it but says all things it does, like it's, parallax and other things. Yeah, well, it doesn't but reduce like, the motion that's bothering me. No. That. It doesn't, it doesn't, <laughs> I don't really feel like it does it doesn't much. Do, I think all. it has to do with the, uh, when you tilt this to parallax view. But, but, I don't okay. even understand why they're wasting CPU cycles on uh, on that. You don't you don't so, enjoy it. Well, for instance, okay, there's the lock screen, right? And so whenever you put a picture on on the lock screen, you have it's, to use a little bit more because when you turn it, I don't. You probably can't even see it's, it. It's very the hard to tell. Slightest bit angle. of movement. Yeah. I don't get that really. I don't. It's which is one of those things. I, I mean, I, I doubt it takes. I, I doubt it takes up that much energy, or However, it wouldn't be worth it. Having said all that, I've gotten more used to iOS seven, yeah. and um, my only real complaint is the way folders work. So um, I use folders a lot. Me uh, too. For one thing, folders. This is a lot of wasted space. You mm -hmm, see. Mm -hmm. uh, for the other thing, if I launch an application from a folder. And then I press the home button. What do you think happens? Go back to the folder. Yeah. Don't you think you should go back to the desktop? Um, not really. But maybe that's because home, the, the I'm, home just, button, I'm so used to the way that it's worked I guess, before. To me, the home button should always bring you to the Sure. No matter home. where you were. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. um, so that bugs me a little bit. I think wasted uh, space and home button. But other than that, uh, it's pretty good. There's some inconsistencies in the uh, new UI. I like the flat UI, by the way. Yeah. But, uh, well, compare clock uh, to how, um, say, notes or reminders works. It, deleting an item is different. Normally, you slide it over same and you press delete. Yeah, same. Texts are now backwards. And it's, I'm yeah. deleting them the other right. way. So there's, but they'll fix these. These are little minor details. You know what it's, else kind of bugs me? And I mean, I think it's just probably because it's just, it's just habit is, so let's say I'm listening to something, right? And then, you know, I've, I've gone off to do something else. Yeah. I'm so used to double clicking in order to get those music controls And now to you come get up. this, yeah. And now it's You'll like. You'll get over that. I know I'll get over it, but I don't want to get over it. I don't want to do this. <laughs> I like the control center. This is the swipe up from below. And I, that's now where you, I think it was always bad to double tap, frankly, uh, to get to, I always found that to be a little too much work to get to I the don't know. brightness. I, and, uh, I, and I do love, you got to say, you got to admit, you love the new multitasking interface, don't you? Yeah. Isn't that great? Did you know that you can multi-touch? Like, so you swipe away an app to get rid of it, right? Uh -huh. But you can do two at a time. Whoops, you got to do it right. Oh, no, I've never done that before. <laughs> hey, that's fun. You probably can do three at a time. Yes, you can. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I, believe, I believe it's the better way to do things. This is a great for sure. Interface. I like this I interface. find that it makes the just like, oh, I know Pandora's running somewhere, you know, four or five apps deep, double click, swipe, swipe, swipe. It's a long way to go. It feels a little more cumbersome to yeah. me. Yeah. It just does. But definitely not. I a think deal it's breaker. better than little jiggly, jiggly, jiggly with a tiny little X you sure. can barely hit. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. So on balance, uh, so I think it's so a good upgrade. We're I'm not used to it. crazy about the color scheme and the aesthetics of it, but I can live with it. Yeah. I do think that you know I think the most important point to make about iOS 7 is it's digital native. In other words, in the old uh, versions of iOS and Macs and Windows too. It, we will always talk about the skeuomorphism. They they try to make things look like real objects because they figured computer users. This is a new metaphor. We have to have folders look like folders. We have to have clipboards with tor torn paper and all of that stuff, and that sticky note should have a curled. And what that did is make people uh, at home with it. But I think Johnny Ive has decreed, and I think he's right, look, we can now make everything be digital native. We don't need to pretend it's in the real world no. because people are comfortable with that. And I think that's right. I think the flat digital native interface is the right way to go. You know, I use reminders and notes all the time. That's just one of those things so I, much better, that I sync on my devices, but it makes, 
everything on my Mac looks so stupid because I've got right. my notes on my iPad and my iPhone are all right. real nice and special. Uh, this would and now I this still would have, have my yellow pad a leather on my Mac. <laughs> yellow pad and yeah. leather and with stitching. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't think you need that uh, anymore. Frankly, I, I kind of like the way this. Uh, this oh yeah, works. this is uh, it's it's lovely. I did tell people before I left. I said don't rush to update, and I think this is still my advice: don't rush to update, especially mm -hmm. if you have older hardware. Mm -hmm. um, you're not really gaining anything, and you're there are risks. In fact. We found out early on there were security problems with the first version. Um, uh, they had to update it twice, once for the iPhone to 701 and now for everything with 702. That's, you know, Alex Lindsay on the Mac Break Weekly always says that. He says, never install the first version of an operating system and not even the second version. You always want to wait for the update to the update that fixes the bugs that the update created. And by then, it's pretty solid. So maybe now is the time if you've been thinking about it. Sure. Um, a lot of your apps, uh, I don't know of a lot of apps that don't work. I do find crashes and bugs. Uh, have you seen that? Yes. Um, live on this show, I think all the last three weeks, I've had at least one restart yeah. that just kind of happened yeah. spontaneously. Yeah. I have also found that on my iPhone, though. My iPhone has restarted a lot, more than my iPad has. Yeah. It seems to be the restart, it happens, it goes, cycles through pretty quickly. Right. So maybe it's not a full reboot. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's you know actually probably a happening? hard restart. Is the Springboard UI. That's what they call this front facing. You know, we on the Mac you'd call it the Finder. On Windows you'd call it the Explorer. That's called Springboard. I bet you Springboard's crashing is what's going on because that would come up pretty quickly. It's right. just an application. Yeah. In so. in general, I, I'm happy with it too. I think I think we're all gonna. Hey, get, we gotta live with we're it. We're all gonna get used to it. We better. You don't have a choice. No. It, one okay. One last complaint, and then I'll, I'll stop it. Yeah. I do wish they had fixed the keyboard. Now I know most people don't think this is a problem, but I I just feel like the keyboard. Let's see. Uh, I don't want to show all that. Let me go to something else. Let's go to notes. That's safe. I don't have anything. Uh, those are all phone numbers and things. So let's let's do a a note. I do think the keyboard. Both on the iPad and iPhone is broken because it's always an uppercase. That's so stupid. You are always. I know saying you that. think it's stupid, but it, they had a chance to fix this, and they should have, and they didn't. I don't think it needs to be fixed. I think for weirdos like you, it would be nice <laughs> if there was some sort of a setting in our or in our settings for the keyboard saying like. Well, that's my either point. Either all caps or. That's my upper point. There is no lower. setting. Yeah. So on 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 every other kind of phone or m mobile device when you hit caps it goes to uppercase but when it caps is turned off it goes to lowercase apple is always in uppercase just like a typewriter and i don't it's, it's yes they yes you could see the indicator here but it's not that visible so i don't understand why they wouldn't want to give us that additional feedback of changing the case they i mean it's like they change the they change this when i tap the symbols key why don't they change it when i tap the shift key it just doesn't Makes sense to me. And, okay, if they gave me a switch that allowed me to turn it on or allowed me to use alternative keyboards, I wouldn't be complaining. But, of course, with Apple, it's their way or the highway. There is no alternative keyboard. You're not allowed. You have to use this, and this is broken. It's a I think consistency this is a simple thing. thing, but I agree no, no, with no, you. No, no, there's no way. There's no way you can justify that. I, I think is, you justify it by saying that the Apple folks want the design to be a certain, to look a certain way. That's, but, that's but when their I hit, justification. When I hit the number key, it changes the keyboard. Well, because you're accessing different keys, well, dummy. Well, uh, same thing. When I hit the shift key, these typed letters will not look like that when they're lowercase. They will look like a lowercase letter. Correct. I think uh, because I like to um, text people as if I'm yelling uh, in uppercase all the time. <laughs> so I do a lot of double tap the arrow and then, you know. So it's like I'm used to when right. I, it, I, I know what all caps is going to be like just because I'm used to it. But I agree that that it causes is not... more mistakes. It's not necessary. Yes. We're, if I, you want to go digital that... native, it isn't a physical keyboard. It's a software keyboard. You can make it lowercase, Apple. You really can. Now, one thing they did do yeah. And I think this is Johnny Ive again. They gave us some good sounds for a change. Oh, yeah. I, the sounds used to be horrific. I um, changed my text notification. Yeah. Um, I'm very happy with it. I'm not going to tell you what it is because everyone's just going to do what I did. So. Does it say, you have a text? No. <laughs> you have a text? Nobody would want that. You could always put custom sounds in there so you're not stuck. Yeah. But I just think the new ringtones, for instance, I'm using this as my uh, ringtone on my... Uh, yeah, that's my um, that's my wake up alarm now. Yeah, yeah. I just thank you, Johnny, for giving us some new 
sounds. I hope he does the same thing on OS X, which has the worst sounds ever. But yeah, I don't even have any sounds. So what do you think? Our bottom line recommendation, is it time now if you have... I wouldn't do it if it's on iPhone 4, but if it's a 4S or 5... Yeah. If it's an iPad 3 or later, uh -huh. I would upgrade. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you kind of... Might as well. You got to. It's just... It's living the now. It's iOS and, 7. And if you, buy, if you buy uh, the new iPad when it comes out next That's week... That's all, all. It's all there. You're not going to have a choice. It's That's all the way. there. Yeah. And, and, uh, but the reason I said slow down on the upgrade is because it really isn't a good way to go back. You have to bring it to the Apple store if you... If you decide I don't like iOS 7, I want to go back to 6, or my apps don't work, right. it's kind of hard to go backwards. All right, so we didn't really talk about apps in this roundup, as we often do at the beginning of the show, but we talked a little bit about how we all feel. Leo's been gone for a few weeks, we talk about iOS 7 and the trip and what's working for us and what isn't. Um, as always, it's always nice to hear from you. iPad Today at twit.tv for feedback. And if you've missed any of the shows uh, where uh, my gracious co-hosts, Ayaz Akhtar, Shannon Morris, and Chad Johnson filled in for Leo over the last few weeks, you can always watch those shows as well. Shannon and I went cat nuts while you were gone, Leo. Oh, that's what I was afraid oh, of. Oh, aren't you bummed that's that you missed that That's kind of a large show? cat. Yeah, Where'd was, you get that? It that was uh, out like a tiger. in New Mexico. They breed these wow. large large animals, big bunnies and cats, and we had <laughs> a guest uh, bring one to the studio that day. It was really fun. That's a Bengal tabby cat. Right, yeah. yes. A, a bangi is what they call them. <laughs> They're a new breed. Yes. Hey, by the way, congratulations. On? Petopia. Did you watch it? I didn't, but I heard it was very good. Well, I'm glad to hear that. So there's a new channel at Revision 3 is doing. Ryan Vance has put together, uh, was it Animalistic? Animalist. Animalist. It's actually not technically a Revision 3 show. It's Discovery Digital. Discovery, okay. But it's, you know, it's the Re Revision 3 folks, for the most part, work at Discovery now. Yeah, it's a... It's a it's and a, your show is about cat food dispensers, which well, is really cool. Well, the first us, uh, the first episode was actually about a a cat food dispenser. Yes, <laughs> this is as everyone knows. Twit is my life, so I don't want to hear any of this mumbo jumbo about me leaving because you'll never get rid of me. I just thought maybe I could do a show about. So what animals. is your show? It's going to be. Uh, what is it? Is it about animal gadgets? What is it going to be? That's exactly what it is. Animal Not gadgets. Not necessarily even like tech gadgets. Right. Uh, we uh, we played around with uh, earlier this week. It's a little bit of a like update to a future show. A chew toy for dogs that like like for uh, dogs with really strong jaws like a pit bull. <laughs> Or something like that, because they tear apart everything, right? right? People, it's a special other chew, dogs, chew toy for chew toys. really strong dogs. Yeah, it's like supposed to be, you know, like what kind of material is best for dogs like that? Mm, so what? not always high tech at all. Huh. It just allows me to play with people's animals. Oh. Yeah, and then put it in a show. So but thank and we you. can see that it's uh, YouTube.com/animalist. That's the network. That's the network. Yeah, or oh. Animalist.com. Oh, they have their own. Website, how modern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Petopia is the name of my show. And Petopia. Well, the, the reason that it's cool is because I'm on the same network with Little Bub and Colonel Meow. So it's kind of that a big was, deal. By the way, when Sarah said she wanted to do this, that was the pitch. She said, I want to be on the same network as Little Bub. Yeah. I said, well, it ain't going to be this network. <laughs> no. Yeah. Leo's like, we're not going to give you a cat show. No, cat I shows. Like, Can I just do it? Our show today brought to you by, you know where those cats really came from? Where? Not from Greece. They came from Shutterstock.com. Right. The watermark was a giveaway. Shutters. <laughs> you know, we have an account. You can actually get these without watermarks. Did you know that? All right. Aww. I love how they disappear. They're disappearing cats. Yeah, they're very, very special. Shutterstock is the place to go for uh, royalty-free stock images, vector graphics, animations, and, yes, video clips. And, by the way, these are video clips that have, you know, uh, no background. They're blank alpha channels, so you can key them just as we're doing and make it look like it's a part of you. Now, uh, the last time I checked, and Brian, would you pull up Shutterstock.com? Because there we were about, scroll down, they were about to go to 30 million images. Have they crossed that? No, no they're so close. 29,986,274 royalty-free images I think it's going to be darn close to 30 million by tomorrow. They added 181,000 images this week alone. What? And these are all high quality stock photos, illustrations, vectors, video clips, often from the best professionals in the business. Uh, you can choose 
find what you want with their great search engine. It not only lets you search for nouns, but also search for adjectives. Drill down by subject, by color, file type, gender, emotion. And then, if you make an account, and I highly recommend you do make an account, there's that angry hippo again. I'm sorry, it's not angry, it's cranky. cranky. If you, uh, if you uh, make a free account, you don't need a credit card or anything, you'll be able to save images to your light box, and that's a great way to put images aside for inspiration. If you're a blogger, having images really, in fact, for me, uh, helps me think of blog posts. But you can also share them with other people. The iPad app is spec. Spectacular. Let me uh, launch that here, and you can see uh, it's really almost like just a beautiful image gallery. And it, it has light boxes that people have created, so you can see other people's light boxes. It has images in a variety of categories. This is, in effect, a light box, right? So I just, I think you really got to check it out. Shutterstock.com. Again, free to create an account. But if you decide you want to buy some images, and Brian, I'll give you our login because we have the 25 image a day subscription, uh, we're going to give you 20% off, I'm sorry, 25% off uh, on your new account when you use our offer code iPad Today 1013 for October 2013, right? So it's iPad Today 1013, and you'll get 25% off at uh, shutterstock.com. Oh, that is one big cat. Oh, see, hey, see, little buddy. See, when you just look at them, they put the watermark. But if you buy them, which we could do, you know, uh, ah, then there's, no, there's no watermark on it. Look at that buddy. Oh, look at those what's he licking feet. there? Oh, he's really chewing on that. Oh, look at those little feet. Yeah. That is one pleased puss. Yeah. I think he's a boy. Uh, let's continue on with iPad today. Should we? <laughs> So the iPad mini and the iPad fourth gen, uh, we have the iPad mini, but neither of us actually have the fourth gen, um, has ended up... Isn't that funny? It is funny, considering... We're using the old one. Yeah. Well, but did... it's good we waited, because now we're going to get the new one. Now it's going to be more exciting for us. Yeah. Other, otherwise, it was just... I'm going to get the mini. Incremental update. If there is one. Well, me too, because... Are you of... going to get the biggie? Well... Uh, you have to for the show. Uh, yeah. We need a big one for the show and a little one for home. Yeah, I guess that's true. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the iPad mini and the iPad 4, both of which are on the market now, have topped touch marks, touch screen test ranking. You know what they are? No idea. The most responsive tablets on the market. Well, that's not a surprise. Not a surprise at all. It's one of these like, hey, iPad's still the tablet to beat. One yeah. of those things. Yeah. But I thought that, you know, if there was any question in your mind, if you wanted to get into a fight with somebody about that, That's you could say, Apple's hey, we're the most responsive. Always done really well. The get, wait a minute, the Galaxy Tab is the worst. And the best is the iPad Mini is better than the iPad 4th Gen. Now this is, they do some, they have some sort of magic thing where they, they move things around, they see how fast the response is. Um, Wow, that's interesting. Surface Sur RT. Surface RT not doing too shabby. Kindle Fire, in the Nexus there. 7. I'd agree. In fact, that's one of the things people complain about with the Nexus 7 is that latency. Now, I should point out that these numbers aren't so very different. Even the Nexus 7, which is, what is that, milliseconds? 135 milliseconds. Um, so it's not that, that's not that long. That's a, you know, a tenth of a second. Sure, sure. It's a pretty quick response. Yeah. But, the but, I, there, but there there's, what it. happens is you get this kind of, something you can't describe, but this feeling of that it's direct. And it was the same with mice in the early days. The Apple mice were always, if you felt like they really moved directly. When you touch a screen on an iPad or an iPhone, mm -hmm. it really feels like you're really manipulating it. And that's because it's so responsive. Hey, if you're an AT&T U-verse subscriber, yeah. you can now start streaming live TV on your iPhone and iPad. This is one of these stories that I know that you don't really care about because you're like, eh, it's stupid. You still have to be a subscriber. Right. But... So it's like HBO Go or something. Yeah, it's it's, it's Dish it's, does this. It's yet another yeah. an, another uh, cable company right. uh, or cable package. It's rather, smart of them. That, You've seen those ads you. where the guys from Boston are sitting on the porch and it's freezing and he's watching on. I'm watching on my iPad. When it, would I see those ads? Oh, you don't watch television. Not very much. I only see the same Hulu Plus ads over and over. You would never see. I only those see ads. three commercials. Basically, they're quite good ads. I'm sure the people at home know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh yeah, the guys in Boston. Yeah, but Is it's it... a dish. It's an ad. They Why give you an they iPad. Why are they so cold? Why are they outside? He's... It's just one of those things. It's one of those things. Yeah, you had to be there. Yeah, you had to be there. But to it, understand. it it brings home what I've always said, which is that the iPad. One of the things it really can shine at is, is a personal television. Exactly. And it really is. You're holding it there. Absolutely. You got the toilet paper right here. You're comfortable. You've got everything warm. you need. You've got knees. 
I got knees. Toilet paper, I know your how iPad. To use them. That's life, right? So, AT&T, you were subscribers. If you haven't heard this news yet, uh, definitely look into it. This might be something that uh, you would want to take advantage of. Yeah. Uh, you just basically have to authenticate and, and prove that you're actually paying AT&T Uverse in some capacity. So, let's talk about today in iWeird. This is not actually <laughs> iPad related specifically. I like the name. Do you like it? Yeah, is this a new segment? Well, you know, we bring it around every, every so often. Have you seen Fox Hopper. News lately? Whose news? Fox News. Oh, this is weird. And I found out a little bit about it, but go ahead. Okay, well, Fox News. They've got new interns that are really small. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> They've employed little people. Scroll down a little bit because you can see the video. Uh, look look at these little tiny people. They're little tiny. Yeah, they're Oompa Loompa type yeah, people. Yeah, they've got they iPads. They found them on an island off of the coast well, of Indonesia. Well, it saves a lot of money. Well, yeah. well what is interesting <laughs> about this, this is they're, the size. <laughs> they're designed to look like giant iPads. They're not. They're Windows 8 tablets. That's, that's correct. They're yeah. not They're not iPads at all. No. Uh, and, I mean, they're designed to look like giant tablets, not necessarily just an iPad. Yeah, Shepard calls them big area touch screens. Oh, isn't that... that that's not what that stands for. <laughs> what BAT stands bats. for. <laughs> big area touch screens. Um, they, uh, those are Perceptive Pixel, a company that Microsoft bought, 55-inch... Mm -hmm. 1080p they're not super high resolution uh, and you could tell when you watch that video because the tweets are like this big and i feel sorry for the poor guys who have to sit there this close to a tweet that's that big you have to turn your head to read it right it doesn't make a lot of sense it's tv it doesn't have to well okay that's a good point touche but but uh but yeah it looks pretty dumb uh, that's it, the thing, because your eye it, thinks it's an if, ipad if it looked cool but yet we were sitting here saying well it's not very functional that would be that's one different. thing but it looks ridiculous <laughs> absolutely ridiculous <laughs> thank you padre oh did he yes, get on padre fox SJ's, news no he that's his tweet and it's what we said earlier. But that is on Wait Fox Wait a minute, that's news. on Fox News? Well, that's a screen grab from the show. Oh, my God. Sort of a show. They thought that was funny, did they? Well, and they've got, <clears> they've got Here's a the good news. Give them a couple of months, you'll be able to buy those really big screens cheap when they dismantle the set because they realize <laughs> that that's exactly how it looks. Because it's just, a, it's a jokey type thing. Well, and then he uses a remote control to rearrange. I just, I don't know. It's, I don't, I don't know what's It's television. Fox News has gone tablet nuts. Hey, at least we know that uh, this trend seems to be here to stay. Well, you know what they said? And this is true, and this is true for all television, that people no longer watch linear programming. They've mm -hmm. got a bunch of different things going on. Yeah. And uh, they get their news from a variety of sources. But the problem is Fox is still linear programming. So dressing it up as if it's not does not make it nonlinear. You still have to sit down and watch a show. And so I don't think this is going to particularly appeal to 18 to 25-year-olds, which is what they're trying to do. Um, yeah, right. Hey, all the kids are using the tablets. The let's, tablets. let's have tablets on the side, but you can't <laughs> see them. Let's just make them really big, yeah. and the, ki the kids will love it. Yeah. Very hip. It's, you know, CNN did the same thing. Remember during oh, yeah. the election with the 3D correspondent? Sure. She was just in the other room. Yeah, I mean, there you go. Fox Look at this. News is not the only network to do stuff We've that makes them seem tweets. painfully unhip. Yeah. Giant tweets! So much taller than me! <laughs> Look at that! Look how big that is! Confirmed! We have giant tweets! Ah! Yeah. Tiny Look at they have keyboards. Tiny little keyboards. Did you see that? They I have keyboards. It. I saw it. It's keyboard. not really oh, a tablet. Little keyboard, big screen. It's Windows hey. 8. So let's talk about uh, Flickr's new iOS 7 app. Now, Flickr still is a uh, uh, website me... owned by Yahoo. <laughs> That's correct. Where you put your pictures. That's correct. Um, it now automatically uploads photos just like everybody else. Facebook, Dropbox, Google+, Apple with PhotoStream. Frankly, if you wanted to, you could have your pictures, every picture you take on your iPad, uploaded to six different places. So in the Flickr app itself, so I'm, you know, I again, I, I have to go uh, portrait because this is, you know, still an iPhone app. But uh, They should do an iPad app. Yeah, no freaking kidding. Marissa yeah. Meyer, what's happening yeah. back there? Yeah. I know you're busy, but come on. Come on. Come on. Come in, on. In the settings, once you uh, update to the new version, you've got a new auto yeah, upload. It's cool. off by default, but it will ask you when you launch uh, the app after the first time that you've updated, hey, this is what's going now, on. Now, two questions Would you like I to have. do this? What are the questions? Private, right? 
Yes. Because that always makes me a little nervous. Yes. And then uh, what quality are they uploading? They are... Is it the full quality or is it a... They, some, it is full quality. Okay, because Facebook squeezes it. It's full quality in the same way that... Let me go into my settings. Uh, 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 photo safety level. Uh, where is it? Where is share? it? Share? Auto-upload. Um, oh, well. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's a setting. Well, that's interesting because there used to be one in the old app. Uh, I wonder if just by default uh, it goes full quality. What does it say in the fine print? It does say they're private. Photos are uploaded over cellular Wi-Fi network. Change your preferences and setting any time. So that's if you were to... But where is that? That's weird. Share. I guess it's share. No. No. Certainly not notifications. Huh. Where well, are somebody you? ought to tell the designer. Upload they took that Q, maybe. There. No. 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 Uh, uh, uh. Where is it? Weirdos. Uh, uh. Yeah. It, you know, the, it, the good news is that be, with the new redesign of Flickr, they have given everybody a free terabyte of storage. Correct. Um, I think there are some limits on how many photos you can upload, though, right? Um, uh, a month and how much size you can space you can take. That's a good question. I don't know if this overrides that. What's also a good question is, so I've got a bunch of stuff that I've got, you know, that's that I upload on Flickr. Almost all of these are just Instagram photos because right. I always like to kind of have a backup just explains at Flickr. Where exactly? They're all my Instagram photos. This is basically my Instagram stream. So it'll be interesting if I turn on auto upload in the background. You know, am I just getting a bunch of the same photos? It would be nice if Flickr's able to say, hey, these look like dupes. Right. Do you want to upload all these again? Because it's, you have like 475 of those that already seem to be in your stream based on the uh, EXIF data. That would be nice. I haven't turned it on yet to know, so I will report back. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah. So there's that. That's, you know, that's good. And then there's also just an interesting uh, article. This is this particular article was, was written by somebody at Mashable, but... It's a, it's a common theme we've seen over the last couple of weeks. I don't know if you saw any of these articles about the idea that having a paid app these days just is no longer the way to go. Freemium is the solution. Yes. And there's a, a lot of uh, looking at in the app store, you know, you've got like the top 10 free apps versus the top 10 paid apps. And the paid app situation has really slowed to a crawl. There isn't a lot of turnover. You know, when apps are new and exciting and, 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 and people who use them say, oh, this is really great, $3, that sort of thing. It's like they have such a hard time rising uh, to the top these days. What you're saying is that basically apps are like tulip bulbs. Yes. You know, in there. <laughs> I'm not sure how yet, but I, I am saying that. Maybe well, you there, can was tell a, me why. there was a boom. In the 17th century, mm -hmm. you maybe remember this. Uh, yeah, yeah. In good, the value good, of good tulips, century. they called it the, the, the. It was an economic bubble. It was the first recorded economic bubble in the value and the price of tulips. And then, of course, as with all bubbles, like the dot com bubble of the 2000s, and we've been watching apps. Everybody's been going crazy. Oh, people are. Instagram makes a billion, sells for a billion, and we've been watching how this overheated app economy, and everybody says, oh, you want to make money, build an app. Yeah. Well, maybe it was a bubble. Maybe it's collapsing a little bit now. Yeah. I would bet, you know, this is just what happens. See, I'm still a fan if an app is awesome and, and, and does what I need it to do. I have no problem paying a few dollars, and I prefer that to I prefer it. purchases. But obviously, we're in the minority that yeah. most people are cheapskates, and if mm -hmm. the app is free, they'll take it. And if it's not, they're going to say, three bucks? What? what do you think? I'm not made of money. Exactly. And uh, so, but I agree with you because for a couple of reasons. One, I don't like, I feel like apps are tricking you when they're freemium. Oh, it's free. And then, oh, you got to buy $300 worth of donuts just to have a Hollywood sign in your Springfield. And I think that that's a ripoff. Then again, some apps, there it, it's nice to be able to selectively buy what you want. Well, Apple created this problem because Apple didn't allow people to down to do demos or yes, right. The only right. way a, a developer can let you see it, it makes sense if you're a developer. Well, I'll let you play the first three levels of my game for sure, free, sure. and then I'll have to charge you. Uh, this is the way they're getting around this lack of demo capability in the App Store, but. I think if you play three le levels of a game, you, you get the feeling the game is free, you play three levels and you love it, 
And now they say, well, I want $3. That's more annoying than if they said it was $3 up front. Right, because then you feel like you've been you've been hooked. And it's yes. like, you're you're like, but I need my right. picks, and now I have to pay. And then there's Candy Crush. And then there's Candy In Crush. In a whole world by itself, because it just annoys the hell out of you. Yeah. You have to buy stuff, or you're not going to be able to play right. that game. It's right, not, it's not. I'm, I'm told this. I haven't played it. Uh, and it's, you have to annoy your Facebook friends. It is like... I get so many Facebook invitations for people. Crocodile of apps. Yeah. Candy Crush. The Crocodile. Yeah. Like have it. you heard about Crocodile? It's not good. It's a bad street drug. And it's it's melting people's faces off. Literally. Explain. But that is neither here nor there. I was wondering what I just to wanted my face. to compare Candy Crush to something that's scary and real. <laughs> so... So we, Sean says all you have to do is reset the system clock and you can get his more lives. You just turn back the clock. It's like Superman spinning the yeah, world backwards. Yeah, okay, but that's, that's a not. Lot of work I for mean, a that's kind of a fun little like, hey, yeah. cool, look, yeah. we're beating the system, but that's right. not actually fixing the problem. It's just a human thing. It's Free a hum is more appealing. And People there are definitely apps. apps uh, I think it was Shannon and I were talking about it. Maybe it was Chad and I. They're all the same uh, when you're not around. Shannon, Chad, Chad they're all I under I don't know the 20. I don't but know anyway, we were are. talking about, there are certain apps where I say, you know, like a photo app, for example. Sometimes there's a new like, hey, you want this new filter pack? It's $1.99. And I look at it and I'm like, eh, not really. Right. Or, you know, something like Path. It's like, you can buy a sticker pack, but you're not, you're, right. you don't have to. So there are certain instances where I'm like, you know, purchases are good because I can make it my own experience. Right. Path is a great program, and free on Path to goes does everything you want, really. Who needs stickers? Yeah. Um, I spent 15 bucks for the deluxe, you know, full version of Path because I just wanted to support it. Yeah. I love it. I use it all the time. Meanwhile, I barely use it. Yeah, I know. You're, you're hardly there anymore. Eh. Only, you know, I only put three or four pictures the, a day on there. I, less. More like three or four pictures a week. Yeah. I find that, that um, my problem with Path is that... Of my 150 friends, I am maxed out on friends. Most of them don't use it. Ten people use it yeah. the most, and they're noisy, and you're not one of them. You're I not one of my noisier friends. I made an effort to post one picture a day so that I would people would know where I was yeah. and what I was up to, and I that's, to me, what PATH is all about. I, I used I would take one picture with my smartphone, and I would post it on PATH well, every day. Well, especially because when you're on vacation, you're in a new place, and people right. actually do want to see that. It's a perfect time to... Update regularly. And, and you know, I, I was a little concerned because I did actually go on path and before I left, I said, hey, I got to warn you, I'm going to post a picture every day. If you do not want to hear a lot from me, uh, unfriend me right now, unfollow me because that's what's going to happen over the next three weeks. I'm going to be on vacation and you're going to get 18 posts. Uh, and nobody seemed to mind that. Uh, no. No. And why should they? Why should they? So, Leo, we should take a break. Okay. Thank you. We've gotten all... Thank you for that suggestion. <laughs> I just, I'd I like to, to take a break. I want you to relax. And by you, I mean me. The smoking lamp is on, baby. Just go out there, get some crocodile, and we'll see you. We'll be back in 60 seconds with more iPad today. Hey, you know, <laughs> now that we know that there's new iPads coming, and I think we know this pretty well. Yeah. Uh, but it's still a rumor. This is a perfect time to go to gazelle.com and get a quote on your existing iPad, or if you've got some in a drawer, your old iPads. Because you know what happens? As soon as the, the, the product, whatever it is, is announced, the price starts to plummet of the old, of the old device. It's just not, it, the value goes way down. So here's what Gazelle does, and I love this. They give you a 30-day lock-in. No commitment. Just go, get a price, find out what your iPad third generation or fourth generation is worth, or your iPad mini. Uh, and that quote is locked in. They're guaranteeing that they will pay you that amount of money even in 30 days after the new iPads are out and it's not worth as much to them. I like that a lot. Not just iPads, iPods, Macintoshes, old phones from Samsung, Blackberry, Nokia. Look at that, your third generation 32 gig Wi-Fi iPad. That is about as middle of the road as you can get. Is worth $210 in good condition, not even great condition, 240 bucks on flawless. At, try it. You got to do this. Gazelle.com. Now, here's what will happen. So get quotes on everything. Uh, if when you decide to pull the trigger, you check out. They send you a prepaid box, so you don't have to pay the postage on anything worth more than a buck. They they will, by the way, take uh, and pay pay you for broken iPads and iPhones too, because there's a market for that. Uh, in fact, I see that they're doing a little uh, get, a little contest up there at the top of the page. You might take advantage of that. You're gonna get. When you send the box in, they quickly turn it around. They're data experts. 
will wipe your data if you forget to do that. I recommend you do it before you send it, but they're very good about that. They will wipe your data. They'll also check the condition. And if it's in better shape than you said it was, they'll give you more money. I mean, this is, I've never heard of a business doing that, but they will. I heard from people all the time. They say, Gazelle, bump me up. And they will either send you a, a check. You can get, if you're in a hurry, you can get a PayPal credit, almost instantaneous. The one I like, if you buy a lot of stuff on Amazon, get an Amazon gift card from them because they'll add 5% to the value of it, which really makes this a good value. G-A-Z-E-L-L-E.com, like the little animal, the antelope-like animal that runs across the veldt. Gazelle.com. Don't wait. If you wait until October 22nd when the new iPads are out, you won't get as much money. It's, it's not Gazelle's fault. It's just the value drops as soon as the next thing comes out. Gazelle.com. Do it right now. Do it. Do, do it. it. Do it now. Yeah. I want to read an email I got from Dana. At just at, and I'm Dana, I'm not making fun of you, but I feel like Dana is really worked up over something. <clears throat> I am not too happy with Apple. iOS 7 has downloaded onto my iPad automatically. Yes, I know it did not install automatically, but what right do they have to put well, programs onto my iPad without my permission? I find this a total, total invasion on their part, and I find this unethical, and I cannot see why it is not illegal. What about when the day comes and the government tells Apple, hey, go on this certain iPad and install this software for us to spy? There is no way a company should be allowed to put anything on my iPad without my permission. Do you ever, when you install software and they put that... Read this agreement, page after page after page. Yes. Do I ever read it? Do you read that? No. Did you read that, Dana? Because you know what it says in there? We have the right to do anything we want, including download stuff to your computer. They explicitly in the agreement tell you that. And the problem is nobody reads it. You agree sure. to it. So unfortunately, it is not illegal. Uh, I agree with you, especially if you had bandwidth caps. Uh, now, I, the default, I'm pretty sure, would be only to do that over Wi-Fi, generally while it's plugged in. I didn't know it was pre-downloading that because it's almost a, it's a, like, it's like almost a game. You it's know big. that if you go into, I mean, right now, obviously. So it doesn't say there is an update. Would you like to download it? It says there's an update. I've got it already. You, would you like to install you it? You get a push notification in your general. You'll see a little, you know. It, it, Use your words. So you in don't your have settings, to, you, you'll get a little number one yeah, here, and then you're yeah. like, what is that? Yeah. You go into general, and it'll be software update. If you yeah, have a software update. Yeah, but doesn't it download it then? No, you're still you still tell it to install the update. Right, but it's downloading but it's it in ready. the background. It's, okay. it's ready. Yeah, it's so downloaded that's what Dana's and, saying. and yeah. basically ready to be unlocked. That's okay. what Dana has a problem with. Now, I just, you know, I think it's interesting that Dana's really upset about this because it's like software updates in general are just going to make your, your iPad better, but... Is anybody else feeling like, well, this is just slippery slope. Now we're going to get to the point where Apple's, you know. Th this has always been a concern from the very beginning of iOS, though. It's like, well, Apple will push out updates and our, uh, the apps that, it, that, that Apple doesn't like will cease to exist. And that's, with, with very few exceptions, really never been the case. Apple right. will pull stuff from the App Store. But in general, they're not going to make your life miserable if you're still running an app that they have pulled, for example. Right. But I do think that Apple considers this, and probably most users consider this, a convenience. Uh, because Apple's experience is that people, almost 90% of users, will upgrade almost instantly. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we, we're already seeing that the vast majority of people are using iOS 7. Right. Um, so they're just saying, well, look, we know you're going to upgrade. We'll download it ahead of time. That way you don't have to sit there and watch. And you just say, yeah, install it. And so I'm sure Apple believes that most people consider this a convenience. And I think Apple's probably right. Um, Dana, you don't have any recourse. You've agreed to it. It's part of the license agreement, the end user license agreement. That's right. And, uh, so we just have to live with it. And I, and I kind of agree with Dana. I think it is a slippery slope. But that's the nature of these devices. These are, these are consumer devices. And, they're, and they really aren't. I, I mean, it's like me and my keyboard. You're not allowed to change the way Apple does things. This is how it does it. Exactly. Like it or not. And for anybody who's saying, well, what about like, I've got, you know, data caps and, and I have to really worry about that. You can, in your settings, say, I don't want any of this to on ever. 3G. Exactly. Yeah, it should not be cellular data. Yeah, only over yeah. Wi-Fi. Right. I have it turned on for everything, but. I but so a lot of people, a lot of our viewers have bandwidth caps on Wi-Fi too, you know. Well, that's there are true. people there are that's people true. watching in Australia who have 250 megabyte caps. I mean, it's I understand. Um, uh, it, it that's a lot of data and they're just doing it automatically and it really is a measure frankly if you ask me an old timer 
of how far we've come in terms of bandwidth. I mean, a download that big in the old days, that would be a big deal. And you, now it would I'm take like, you a long I'm time. Now I'm like, 250 megabytes? How do you live? I know. <laughs> you know, oh, I am sorry. That is not good. Yeah. We got a little Dutch tip from Alan, uh, who says, hola. Hola. Hola, Alan. I always have my iPad in my kitchen as I cook, and I use it as my timer. This is, he actually calls it a no-duh, which is awesome. I knew what you meant. This is a no-duh to this audience, but telling Siri to set a timer is the handiest thing I've found. I love it. On iOS 7. I do it with alarms but, all the time. Yeah. I, I press the button and say, uh, set an alarm for 7 a.m. And it just does it, and it's so it's so great. So nice, yeah. Uh, timer, Al same thing. Alan says, just say, set the timer for however minutes, and right. poof, it's done. Love it. Love it, too, especially since many of us have our iPads in the kitchen. Yeah. iPad's my little a recipe friend, but I still am using my microwave to for my timer because I kind of never thought to use my iPad. Why not just use the device I'm already touching to pull up a recipe? How about this one? Patrick Delahanty just told us this one. What? What planes are above me? Siri will actually tell you what planes. Hmm. Let me think. Here is what I found. These are the planes right above us right now. Flight paths. <laughs> Love that. This, <laughs> uh, there's an Air China flight 51 degrees uh, 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 up at 30,000 feet. Uh, there's a Horizon Air flight. There's a SkyWest flight. Isn't that, a, isn't that wild? Isn't that wild? I guess. Whatever. You know, planes. What, what are you going to do? You're jaded. I am. Yeah. Air travel is no longer <laughs> the wonder. I need to watch that Louis C.K. Yeah, right. interview again. What, um, what you know, satellites are above me? Does it do that? Hmm. Let me think. No. Here's what I found on the web. No. Now, have you changed your voice? Because one of the no. things about iOS 7, now you can have a man. Yeah, I don't. I, I, the voice is the least of my worries with Siri. I mean, that's never been the thing <laughs> you where you I'm have, like, Wait a minute, you have worries about Siri? Oh, lots of them. What? I think about Siri a lot. <laughs> the least of my worries. But I did. This was, this was actually a fun little, um, it was a little tip that I had on i5 earlier this week. Yes. Uh, but, it's, but it's fun for us too, uh, iPad users, is that... I can, and this is not new in iOS 7, by the way, but it's just never anything I took advantage of. I can say something like, Leo Laporte is my boss. And then Siri will say, okay, right. do you mean this guy in your contacts? Right. So when I say... Call the boss. Yeah, make a reminder to call my right. boss when I get right. home. You can or, do that with your mom, sister, wife, You know what you can, husband. Al you can also say enemy. No. Yeah, yeah. Call my enemy. I made Tom Merritt my nemesis. <laughs> So you can use any word. Yeah. Yeah. And then Siri's like, okay, I Email got it. Email my nemesis. Right, right. Hello, Newman. Yeah, yeah. And that I, would be good. And I even tried it because, like, nemesis's house just sounds weird. So I was like, I don't know, that just sounds weird. But you can say, remi uh, remind me to, I don't know, steal milk when I get to the house of my nemesis. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, I know. I love that. That's why I have a lot of worries about Siri, because I think about the stuff just too much. Just for the good of the shows, right? The good the, of the shows. That is, by the way, probably one of the top five reasons to upgrade to iOS 7, is Siri is much improved on iOS 7. Agreed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like her a lot. We have or him. A, we, or him. Or him. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We have a video, uh, a little app uh, review that comes from David. Haven't had one of these in a while, and I liked it a lot, so let's play it. Oh, Brian. You know, you, you always know that. how to you bring were, down a party. You were brusque. You were quick. I was. You should, like, I'll show you how you do that. So we've got a video from a viewer. I think it would be a good time to play it now. Hi, Sarah Lane, and welcome back, Leo. This is David Chilstrom speaking to you from Portland, Oregon. And I'd like to give a plug for a new app in the App Store. It's called Frax. HD comes in a Frax. pro and a non-version, pro version, which you can upgrade to pro with an in-app purchase. I did so after 10 minutes of using it. Uh, it is a fascinating program. It is an absorbing program. It's the brainchild of Macintosh legend Kai Krauss of Kai Power Tools fame and his collaborator on that project, Ben Weiss. So it is a wonderful tool for creating fractal patterns, for sharing them with others, 
Really interesting concept, beautifully executed. I can't recommend it enough. Frax HD is really a trip. Ooh, Ooh. Fraxes and fractals. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, David. Yeah. That's awesome. We've never talked about it. Uh, no. In fact, I was like, have we talked about anything like no, this? No, I looked no, no, it up. No, 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 we haven't. Frax HD uh, in the App Store, it's three ninety nine. Um, there is a non-HD version, but of course, if you're on the iPad, you got to go HD. And yeah, it's really beautiful if you like that sort of thing. Mathematical art. There used to be an app, and I don't know if it's on the albino black sheep or albino sheep. Remember that? I do. Yeah, I and do. I don't. I look, don't think I see it on. Uh, not albino black sheep. Albino regular sheep. Albino. Yeah. Sheep. Oh well. Sheep bino. Yeah. It was a same same idea. It was or electric sheep. That's it. Not albino. Let me see if that's on the app. Steve C in chat says, "Why would I need that? I don't need it. You don't need it. it. You don't need it. It's only for when you like to take that thing that melts your face. <laughs> that's not what always when. Oh, yeah. that's, oh, I'm getting weird deja vu right now. It reminds me of a dream I had where yeah. somebody was doing that. It is available. Electric sheep is available. I'm having on, a weird moment. Uh, this is another one you should take a look at. Yes, one of the nice things about sheep. this is it's uh, crowdsourced. So when you have electric uh, sheep, uh, it uploads these images to uh, a server and you can share it with other people. They're not exactly fractals, they're more just like screensavers or those visualizations we used to have Yeah. Uh, yeah. back in the well, 60s. Well, as David says, it's a trip. Yeah, man. You know, man? Yeah. If you like fractal stuff, man. This is the dawning of, of the, the age of the Aquarius. The age of the Fraxity. 3.99. Fraxity. Take off your clothes. We want to hear from you. You can write us at iPad today at twit.tv. You can send us a voicemail at 757-504-IPAD. By the way, we got a bunch of voicemails over the last week. And I love all of you dearly, dearly. But when you talk for five minutes, we can't play them. So we'll try to keep them to 30 God, seconds or less. tell them that every week. Well, but I feel like they don't want to hear me. They just want to do it their way. I mean, have it your way in all other aspects of your life except the voicemail part. Just try well, to keep it. You can give us long ones. We just won't play them. Yeah, I want yeah. to. I want to, but then I... I feel bad. Um, where you can send us a video like David did. Keep it, you know, under a minute. Good visuals, great stuff. Upload it to YouTube or something. Send us the link. We'd be happy to show it on a future episode. And thanks in advance. So, how you doing on the jet lag? You've only been back for a couple days. How is how is everything going? Because I know that sometimes reentry can be difficult in the atmosphere of the Electric real world. Sheep. Uh, no, I actually feel pretty good. Oh, I'm glad. You know, it's funny. I, isn't that great? I just love electric sheep. I, I actually had this app on my uh, on my iPad. I didn't even remember that. Yeah, I think we've talked. That's why I was like, Frax. Have we talked about this? Frax is not the same, but it's no, similar. No, it's yeah. different. Yeah, it's same. no. I didn't get. I didn't get too jet lagged. Right. Uh, a little more coming this way. Usually, it's going west is not as bad as going east, right? I always thought that. Uh, we weren't jet lagged at all when we got to Italy. We we jumped up. We went. We we we, we swam the canals. It was great. Uh, but I got here and I've been, I've been, the sleep is all destroyed. I you wake know, up at three in the morning. It's, it's, it's not, yeah. yeah. I think sometimes it's just difficult. It's just sometimes. I, fi I find yeah. I have difficulty both either going way. either way. Either yeah. Way, yeah. 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 Well, we were 10 hours uh, different. So it's that's about as bad as you can get. Right. Because you're not actually shifting Flipped. a day. Right. You're shifting half a day. Right. And that's where you get it's into pretty trouble. Bad. Yeah. It's pretty like night when it's daytime and daytime when it's nighttime. And if you do ambient to sleep, then you're just super groggy. And then you're like, mm, and then you're like, mm, mm. and then you're like, mm. and then you're like, mm. and then you're like Our show today brought to you by 99 Designs. I got 99 Designs, but. But. And they're all... Ain't one. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I got 99 designs and... Do <laughs> you think that's where the name... It must be where the name comes from. I don't think uh, so. It's the world's largest graphics design marketplace. It connects you, businesses seeking quality, affordable designs, with a community of a, a quarter of a million graphic designers who are just dying to work with you. Uh, we use 99 designs to do T-shirt designs, to do uh, logos... Uh, it is fabulous. I want you to try it. 99designs.com slash iPad today. If you sign up at that address, you'll get a free power pack upgrade, uh, which give, it's worth 99 bucks. It gives you more designer time and attention because they 
Well, let me explain how it works. I have to explain how it works before the, the Power Pack will make any sense. What you do is you, you think of what you need, a, a new logo, a mobile app. Yes, they do app design, business card, T-shirt menu, uh, Facebook landing page, whatever it is you need. Uh, you go to 99designs, you, you post it uh, uh, as a contest. You say, hey, I need this. And you can see, if you scroll down, there are a ton of contests going on. And uh, what, what happens is designers from all over the world will say, hey, how about this or how about that? You can work with them, pick the one you want, and then you pay a very a pre-negotiated rate, very affordable rate for your design. $4.99 for uh, app design. Your next graphics design project is as low as $199 at 99designs.com. We, we really think it's gorgeous. And the apps... Well, you know, this is a good, a really good example. People always are saying to me, hey, I've got a great idea for an app. Yeah. Um, but sometimes, and maybe you're a great programmer, but it, nowadays an app has to look great, has to feel great, has to work well. And there are all these great designers out there willing to help you do it for a very affordable price. 99designs.com slash mobile app design if you want to check those out. But here's what I would suggest. 99designs.com slash iPad today. You get that $99 power pack of services, uh, which includes more designer and time and attention because they'll bold and highlight and feature your design project in their marketplace. That's going to double, practically double, the amount of designs you get. Take a look. Browse around a little bit. I, I bet you, I bet you there's something that you could use a great design for, and there's some great designers waiting to help you at 99designs.com slash iPad today. I got 99 problems, but web design ain't one. Yeah, there you go. It took me this whole time I was trying to come up with something good, and you just came with it. Oh, it Christmas in the chat room, baby. Oh, Christmas in chat. Christmas said something funny yesterday, too. Christmas without the T. It's Christmas. Christmas, not Christmas. Right. Keep, keeping it uh, secular. I got 99 designs, but a GIF ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one, too. That's, That's good. That's from the Ford McFord. So, Leo, I know it's been a while. But I thought that you might like to, you know, kind of get back into the swing of things. We match. Yeah. I got this in Greek. Hey, come this way. I'm a person <laughs> who tells you which way to go. I got that in St. Petersburg. It's a Russian, uh, <laughs> this is, Russian well, I, policeman's I cap. I know how to... Jeez, you, was, I'm glad I'm like, you're not directing traffic, I, I'll tell you that. I've clearly never done this before. You stop, you go. That's this it. Way. Boy, you just caused a major traffic collision. <laughs> Now, this is a Greek fisherman's hat, and I'm I got... sorry about my microphone, I got everybody. this in, That's like... That's uh, really annoying. I'm sorry. I think I got this in Santorini, actually. Uh, it's super, yeah. super cute. Don't you think it looks good on me? Very. I think I'm a natural Greek fisherman. You look... Opa! Opa! So, uh, this is where we put funny hats on. And we talk about the two apps, one from me and one from you, yes. that we just really liked this week. And yes. we thought that the rest of you should really consider downloading as well. <laughs> Okay. I, I will start. Okay. This uh, this speaks to my liking that. This speaks to my general interests in life because okay. I like to look at uh, funny internet videos. Sometimes I share that stuff with 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 all of you on Twitter and the like. Mm. This latest app is not the only place to uncover fun videos, but it has a design that I find to be pretty unique. It's called Rock Pack. Now, in general, these are videos that you could find on the internet in a variety of places, but the team at Rock Pack puts them into a variety <laughs> of categories. Categories. Well, for example, this category that I've been hanging out on quite a bit is called yeah. I Love You Internet. So it's the sort of thing where you're just like, oh my gosh, isn't life crazy? Oh, I love the Look internet. Look at this. I shared this on Twitter earlier. Look at this video of a bunny oh. lounging in a sink while the oh. owner gives her a bath. Oh. That's a bunny taking a bath, people. That's very relaxed. Okay. <laughs> That's one hell of a relaxed bunny. I love you, Internet. Yeah. That is one relaxed bunny. By the way, that bunny's alive. If you watch the whole video, you see it moves. It doesn't eventually. look alive. Well, it is. It is. Wow. I had the same problem. Would you like to see wow. something that's a little that bit is one relaxed more bunny. disconcerting? Holy cow. I know. Isn't that adorable? That looks like... Uh, I want a bunny just to do this. Wow. That is one relaxed bunny. So this is something that's... That looks like that scary Donnie Darko movie right a there. A snake that can open a door. Right. Check that out. <laughs> Good job. That's, I don't think that's the snake... Like doing that on purpose. Yes, it is. That's a snake that's going to kill all of us. It's going to open the door. Because it's become it's self aware. Totally that is so bizarre. So, all right. So, that's I Love You Internet. But there are a variety of other packs. There's <laughs> I Party do love Hard. You, 
There's yes. Rihanna for Rihanna fans. There's Funny or Die, uh, Bruno Mars. You know, so there's well, that's a lot. That's kind of neat. There's a lot of stuff in here that's college humor. There are certain. Are they collected from? Uh, yeah, just submissions just, or no? It's it, it's it's curated, curated oh, uh, okay. uh, videos that are that are around the internet. So original vines. Okay, that's that's interesting because this is. Uh, well, I thought you had to use Vine to see vines. Well, not anymore. There are no vines in Thanks this pack. To I guess they have. Pack. I guess this is a new app. They haven't gotten into original vines yet, but there. Yeah, it's a variety of stuff. Some of it is like Lady Gaga. I mean, that as its own brand works fine. Or you've got Pixar shorts. Or you've got top videos in general. Or you've got Stephen Fry. Stephen Fry may be involved in this uh, venture at some point. Beach songs, that sort of thing. I um, And then you've, this is all popular stuff, by the way. You can be like, I just want funny things. I want funny things, like bunnies taking a bath. You can just say, like, what the F did <laughs> I just so watch? Weird. This seems like, you know. This is a great, this is good. Yeah, it's, a, it's just a. I like this, Rock Pack. Yeah, it's called Rock Pack. Uh, it's free. It's a completely free app, as it should be, because you're really just watching videos. And again, I mean, Show You is another app that comes to mind as something that I think this is probably a direct competitor to, uh, which is also helping you uncover fun stuff uh, on the internet that's video based. But this is more of a, hey, here are our, 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 our uh, collections of videos that you just might like rather than the social aspect of it, which a lot of other apps try to do. Like, if Leo shared a video on Twitter, I would see that on, you know, in my show you stream, for example. Rock Pack is more of just like, if you like cats, you can watch a bunch of cats videos, and it's going to be a little bit, uh, I mean, not that you can't do that on YouTube. Could we create a Twit Pack? Uh, yeah. Like weird moments from Twit? Yeah. We should do that. Or just, yeah, like like recent shows yeah. or fun tips. Oh, because it can be long videos, too? They're yeah. probably all short. Yeah, in general. Yeah. I mean, that's there's no reason not to. Can you show me the snake opening the door Would you like to time? see that again? Because it's really, you know, it's 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 not cool. It's actually pretty <laughs> it's kinda, awful. It's kind of horrible. It's pretty awful. Okay. Did you, did this you is, know that that's... Uh, this is Julius the Julius snake. Julius the snake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Opening the door. The thump. Good job. Good job. Isn't that just the worst thing you've ever seen in your life? I don't think Julius knows what it's up to at that Julius point. Julius <laughs> is ready to break on out of there and Someone is from Charlie Rockwell. just. Oops, sorry. Oh, more is coming. There's well, it's Jimmy. Fox. Oh, Julius passed away a few months, <laughs> a few years ago. Oh really? All right, so let me take a picture of you. Oh God. Oh. All right. All right. You look so cute in that little. Uh, in that, uh, yeah, give me some nice toothy smile there. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm doing this in my app cap which is um, a, uh, an app designed for people who want to do simple photo retouching. How's okay. that idea? It's called oh. Facetune. All right. All right. Oh, now we, you're, you're, what, you're tuning your we're face. We're tuning up. Now, we've all seen uh, what they do, you know, with airbrushing and magazines and everything. Well, of now course. you, too, can have that same kind of, for instance, your teeth. Now, actually, you have very white, beautiful teeth, but... A lot Thank of us, you. myself included, our teeth are a little bit yellow. And I can see maybe there's a little yellow. Excuse me. A little bit. I pay good money for these only, white teeth. Only when I've, when I've zoomed in. Right. So I actually have a little toothbrush uh, oh, tool oh, here. Oh, you, you could make me super white. I can make them even. Look how white they're getting now. Oh, huh? yeah. Look at that. But it's a subtle effect. So these are kind of like Photoshop style effects, certainly stuff that you could do with any editing program. Give me a nice bright smile. It does a nice job. It even gives you a simple way to compare before oh, yeah. and after. Oh, so man. I got to get my teeth done. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And But that's not all. It has other tools, too. So let's zoom in now that we've made your teeth uneven. Especially just the front <laughs> ones. Yeah, the front ones are abnormally white. That's yeah. a good look. I love that. Yeah. Uh, well, there's other stuff we can do. Uh, you know, sometimes skin Can you is... make my ear less elfin? Because, I mean, look yeah, at how no, elfy can. my ear looks. Oh, good. I'm photo. glad we got it. But first, let's make this skin a little bit smoother. Oh, gee, thanks. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to smooth it up a little bit there. No, Just... it's true. I'm freckly. I don't like that either. Yeah, let's smooth. smooth me out. Smooth skin there. You can yeah. erase the effect. You can even change the brush size and the strength. So I think I, I think I really need to turn this up a little bit. And then there we go. We can see before and after. Oh, oh God, you're... look at him. Disgusting. Look, it's disgusting, isn't it? Look away, right. I'm it's, hideous. It's okay. Let's fix the ear. Let's it, fix that boy, ear. Boy, oh, boy, that is a pointy, I know. one pointy-ass ear. It's disgusting. It's, Holy it's, cow. That's, I was born like that. Well, let's use the reshape tool. I okay. think that's what's, it's going to require some reshaping. Yeah. Uh, and we'll just, we'll just take that ear and we'll just, 
We'll just. Mm, uh oh. Nice. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah. Well, let's look at before and after. Before. My, bef <laughs> my before looks like a joke, but it's really real. Yeah, so you can That's do it. It's sad. like you mold it like clay. Okay. okay. All right. And then when you zoom back. Then it, I look just it, it, like it, I kind of got a little clipped <laughs> pit bull ear. I don't ear. know what happened. We can fix that. And yeah. there's, you know, there's undo. You get, you get the undo. idea. If you spend some time, I, you get what you want. Well, I'm spending some time. Uh, and then this before, <laughs> that's after. I think after looks normal. So there we go. We got your ear fixed. What wow, else? Wow, I'm like a normal girl. Yeah, with bright, bright white teeth. So there you go. This is Facetune. It also has the ability to change tones to take out red eye. Of course, that's something you'd want to do a lot of. It's a nice, a very simple touch tool. And uh, uh, the iPad is so, n it's a natural for this. Uh, they have filters, of course, uh, you know, uh, uh, the style of filters that you would see on uh, on Instagram. A uh, lot of them, too. I mean, just, you know, what are you laughing at? I'm just, I'm being me. You're looking like you. Yeah, that does look like you, minus the pointy ear. Uh, so, uh, and then... And then there's frames. We can Rawr. put a nice, <laughs> nice frame. <laughs> Let's put a nice frame around you. Frame me. Yeah, we're framing. Oh, there, that's, that's nice. a nice looking Look. picture. There we oh, go. my goodness. And you just want to put that right on the wall. Well, we can. Uh, in effect, the Facebook wall or, the, or, or some other wall. So uh, there. So and so you could see you could take uh, use the camera as I just did. You can also open photos uh, and uh, uh, so forth and so on. Now, just because I'm not super adept at this. By the way, this is half price right now, three ninety nine. Okay. Um, uh, the wonderfully talented uh, Lizard77, Liz Romero, took some pictures of me. Well, don't you look uh, nice. Well, no, this is the before. Oh. That's the before picture. Oh, okay, I think so, it looks fine. And it, you know, the teeth are a little yellow, the hair is a little gray, so let's just see what Lizard did. <laughs> <laughs> That's, she's brightened up the smile quite a bit. The she's, smile is definitely bright. She smoothed bright. out the skin a little you, bit. Your skin has never looked Lizard, could you get the hair more a like darker? a baby's bottom? <laughs> very, very she good. She said stuff. she was good at this. Well, so uh, there, there, are, there are a lot of people out there who are like, well, hold on a second. Like, if I've got a variety of photo apps already on my iPad that could achieve some of these effects, why would I need this specifically? Well, you it's, could. It's, it's, it's a lot it's, easier. It's made specifically for portraits. Right. Right? Right. The, it has built-in sharing to Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Flickr. You can open it in Instagram. So I can now Instagram my tooth-whitened, face-fixed ear version of uh, Sarah Lane. Uh, or you can just send it to another app. I think this is. I think they've done a nice job. I, I, I really like this app. And it is half price right now. Of course, we can crop as well. Um, uh, that it, it's simple, three ninety nine. I think the you would the two things you'd really want it for. Actually, the one thing is the best thing is the uh, teeth whitening, um, but I think also the smoothing effect because it's a subtle effect. And so I think it's it, it gives you what it does is it, it gives you a lot of here's details which will will uh, allow me to kind of it's kind of like smoothing. You have to play with these to see all the uh, the different effects. But let's say you had a lot of wrinkles around uh, or bags under your eyes. This would allow you to let's go let's just see what you go oh, yeah with look just fix that bag right there right there see that you didn't get enough rest or your face has been melting a lot lately and then i'm just gonna make you look a lot better here <laughs> i'm not sure that's true uh before after oh before <laughs> It's probably not the direction. Leo, I look like I got beat up. <laughs> Come on. It's it's actually more fun to play with, frankly. If, that's uh, not the sort of thing I'd like it, you to post. If you're if you're if you if you if you're having fun with it, yeah. Uh, then it is. Uh, you can you can do uh, retouching. You know, patch. They call it patch. Um, uh, but th this is my favorite one, and I, I think you know you're always complaining about uh, your nose. Yeah, I've got a terrible and nose. And I think we can really make that. Uh, just let's just make it a little bit uh, better. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's good. Just like that. <laughs> well, see, if you if I had nostrils that went to the side, I could just smell so much better. So that's actually something. And and and, and I love the cheek. Well, you know, we that, <laughs> It really sculpts it shape you a little bit, me, you know, no, in a way. <laughs> See, now that makes me look interesting, and I feel like I would have a modeling career if I had just looked a little bit more like that at the Did outset. Did you ever ever want to be in the Hobbit movie? Because I, I think I can get you the job. Wonderful, um, wonderful. Yeah, but, you know, yeah. I think everybody looks better with bigger eyes, don't Always. you? Always. Yeah. The bigger, the better. Yeah. That's what a lot of people, At you know, use, use makeup for this. But um, no, no. I don't think you're really. 
you really need makeup. I mean, I, people around the studio are laughing almost as if that doesn't look good. I don't know. Yeah. No, it's wonderful. Uh, why the long face? Why? Um, why indeed? Not really long enough, though. I, I, it, it, I, I think we can make it even a little bit just... There you hey, go. Hey, it's Jay Leno. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Jay that's Leno what has beautiful face white tune. teeth. Three dollars and ninety-nine cents. Wow. Yeah, there I am, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Leo. Great Before, to have you back. After. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's so... <laughs> it's just so... Oh, it makes me you feel You know what, funny kids, kids love this. this is, we, we were talking about Kai Krauss earlier. Correct. Uh, who did the fractals. He, yeah. of course... One of the things he did was, what was the name of that great program he had uh, for the Macintosh? That did, did, did it, well, he did Kai's Power Tools, but then they took a set, a subset of that. Goo. goo. And kids loved that. Oh, you would yeah. goo, you would take people and say, it was basically, this is goo. That's right. This is goo. It's, uh, it, you, you can do it subtly, or you can really have a good time. Or you time. can really go nuts. And all kids always love that. You always see the parents and the kids with the funny... What was that drug? Um... Crocodile? Yeah. I don't know if crocodile <laughs> does that to you. It just basically melts your skin off of your head. Well, I think that's what it was. Exposes your bones. Oh, you want bones, do you? No. I think we're gone. I think we're done. I think we're good. I said gun. We're gun. Good and done. Get her done. We've gotten her done. Hey, that's it for this edition of iPad Today. Leo's back. Life is back to normal. Con I was about to say congratulations. Congratulations from getting back from your trip alive. I know. It was, well, it was nip and tuck for a while. Yeah. Actually, I didn't. I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I went to Switzerland and had my blood exchanged. Oh. Yeah. Neat. What are you now? That means I'm good for another hundred years. Oh, I'm so glad. Good. Mm -hmm. Well, Twit isn't going anywhere, everybody. Yay! Yeah. 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 I'll see you. We'll see you next week right here on iPad Today. Oh. 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 Oh.